Hi guys, welcome. I've put in an SSD, not just any SSD, the one that has been created with this because, well, basically all the keyboard shortcuts are not working. So I was pressing a button, and nothing happens. And that's because, well, we're not on our legs. We're on Arch, but we are on this guy, alci.online. I hate typing all these things in. So Arch Linux combined with Calamaris gives me a nice graphical overview. Click, 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 installed. And then you're up. So that's that what you're seeing here has been created like uh, some time ago. Last capital F, remember that one, last capital F. Let's have a look. Thursday, February the 4th on 2021. So February this year, I installed it, okay? And then I jumped February 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 steep, 5, 12, 19, playing around with it. And then 26, March 11, we jump a few weeks, 14, March, April now, April, and then we forgot all about it. And we put it back in our bay, right? Remember, there's an, an easy way to have um, a system that's not have does not have to dual boot. Everybody thinks they need to dual boot. There is no reason to dual boot. You can also buy base and for 30, 40, 50, and that depends, right? You can have an, uh, a system that has a bay. I'll probably need to, maybe it's in here in the menus, but let's just type it. So bay, E, A, or W, wow. Um, anyway, this one, that article, how to mount an SSD bay in your desktop to easily switch between Windows and Linux. I've made it. I, I mean, I've made the video, how to do it. I have recorded every step of the way how you should do it. It's super simple. Only need to have the hardware. Buy the hardware somewhere. So that happens with my machine. And then you forget an SSD lying around, jumping from April the 3rd to September to December the 25th. So this is possible. People say, Arch oh, Linux, you have to update, update it every day. Otherwise, ah. Uh, no, no, no. There are already so many videos out there telling you that's not true. Lies, okay? All it requires is an internet and knowledge, a little bit. So that's the jumps. We're gonna jump from September to December and maybe there is some knowledge to share right now in this video, I don't know. I'll just update. And when we update in Articlinux, we type this thing. And it seems, it seems, right, I've added my own bash or C in here. So I have my, what do we have? Control C. Let's have a look. Update is nothing more than pseudo pacman minus SYU. At that point in time, when I installed it, I believe it's today sudo pacman minus s y y u so voila we have to update replace articlinux sdm arch paint with articlinux sdm plasma arch paint kit oh yeah i've changed the name i guess or is it just a repo change anyway yes right always say yes most of the time it's up to you to say yes please this is not from us extra jackpack too i suppose so so enter is the same as capital yes lincanberry pulse oh fine and then qca qca qt5 fine because probably qt6 is coming along and you have to make the division between them pipewire media session sure wow okay september december jump 1.8 gigabyte so it is of course something that also me, it scares you, right? So, oh my God. But net upgrade is just 400 megabyte. But yeah, it's a lot. 
now probably will have issues and that's why we make these videos there are already tons of update videos to share the knowledge as well everybody knows Arch Linux is super stable but you have to know this and this and that and then everything is cool so let's see if the error is coming along I have to update anyway and then you you read a few so we're not doing this in PAMIC or discover or anything stick around in a terminal and start reading lots of stuff and at some point in time you should already recognize discord right and discover maybe if you're on plasma you should know what discover is and there are more things and gradually over time of the years and years watching always the same applications get an update you'll know 80 percent of the packages what at least what it is for you don't need to name it i to do it's not an exam that you have to take right what's the exact name of and what version are we today no no but if you just kind of know that has to do with icons that has to do with themes that's about the kernel that's golden and all the k stuff everything that begins with a k no worry i r k d e Melt is my love. Couldn't develop without Melt or Bash scripting by that, for that matter. Plasma is the new name, so okay, that's clear. Plasma, everything starting with the word Plasma. There's still more down here. All the Python stuff, so it's a language. And then we get the trouble, the trouble, our keys. Arch Linux, Arch Linux, we have just just came out of the uh, helping somebody on Telegram. Keys, keys, right? If only there were no keys, <laughs> then life would be more simple. So this guy, not me, Alexander Epanashnikov, right? Uh, we say, okay, cool, enter, import, Morgan, enter, cool, still okay, still okay. Two new guys, two new keys packages that come in are signed with that key pacman knows that key everything goes smoothly pacman does not know that key everything breaks in the sense that you have to fix the key and this is the d trouble right well marginal trust that's one thing um no it's not the d trouble it's not schwarz i thought it would be coming up but um, yes, that's still okay. Do you want to delete it? So one of the packages that I have on my machine is not properly signed and it's therefore it's corrupt, invalid and corrupted package PGP signature. So keys again. Do you want to delete it? Yes, 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 go. And the same goes here for Discord. Do you want to delete it? Sure, sure, sure. Morgan Adamiak, right? It's not me, right? Pure arch, but keys, always the keys. Do you want to delete it? Enter. Then, XFAT, there's the Schwan, Frederick Schwan. Yes. And then we have Jonas Wichel. Yes, Frederick Schwan. Again, yes. And then everything breaks. Fail to commit transaction, transaction, invalid or corrupt package, whatever language you're in, you get the message no fun for you no updates now since you've deleted all these packages we're going to do that again the packages are no longer in the cache where's the cache Eric show the cache for cache pacman packages here is everything but it's an old everything it's from September but there were already packages in there and they were not okay so they cur were corrupt and they're gone now so let's try it again since all the errors are now for the system he's going to download those guys that were errors you see the guys we removed he's downloading them simply again but he's checking the package integrity again There we go, Alexander. 
Yes, please. Remove, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Remove, please. Yes, please. Remove, please. Yes, please. Remove, please. Yes, please. Remove, please. We're back square one. We can do this all day. And then they say, of course, Arch Linux is rub rubbish. Uh, let's get rid of it and anything Arch Linux based, right? Because we all rely on these packages and all these keys. And, and if this is not working and you keep on doing what I'm doing, so that's the third time I'm doing it, right? Then you do this, sudo pacman minus s arch linux key ring. That's your solution. And until you know how to solve these things, until then there is no update for you. So yes, 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 yes. Yes. Let's hope for the best. I guess you know it already. We're installing. So, write it somewhere on the wall. <laughs> sudo pacman minus s arch linux dash keyring. That's what I always say to my students, right? If you want to remember, rem memorize something, something that's important, you write it down, you put it on your wall. And every day you look at the formula or whatever it is you need to remember and it's visually in the end you see the formula and that's how you should do it that's was the most essential thing of this video i'll have my arch linux system after installing all this but i was stuck with keys it seems i've installed nvidia i am working on a non-NVIDIA system but I know myself <laughs> all my PCs have this bay <laughs> and what happened is I moved this SSD around from an NVIDIA system to a non-NVIDIA system etc so yeah probably that's uh, what happens and after this video, I'll make a new installation, ALCI XFCE or ALCI Plasma or ALCI Cinnamon or ALCI Mate or anything like it, because it's all possible. It's all possible. Go to the GitHub, have a look around and say, mm, pure is pure. So pure arch, LTS kernel, send kernel, here we've put the XFCE in there, but there is more. So these are the packages and packages can be changed. Lego blocks can be added and Lego blocks can be removed. I think they must be in here. I don't know, control find, easy way, plasma. And that's one plasma. Oh, it's the only plasma. So it's going to be me typing instead of XFC4, XFC4 goodies, we take plasma dash meta. And you've got it. You've got plasma. How do you know such things? Arch wiki plasma. How do you install plasma? Well, KDE, never liked. I want to move on to the new name install plasma meta so sudo pacman minus s plasma minus meta you've got it you've got plasma congratulations so it's as simple as that so you add it to the list voila 
the video is at an end. Uh, well, I mean, the, the update is an end and um, video two, right? I'll put it online and this system will go away, will cease to exist. I've been rolling since February, was it? Last minus F. February, I was rolling, but I'm gonna burn a new one, a new ALCI on my USB and put it on here. Main thing, keys. Pseudo Pacman minus S, Arch Linux dash keyring. All right, cheers.